Hi, um, this series of videos I'm going to be talking about doing techniques with the short staff. Okay, um, the short staff techniques that I'm going to be showing you are come, come from Chung Kung Taekwondo. They're originally rifle and bayonet techniques, so most people don't ordinarily carry a rifle and bayonet around with them, so I want to preserve these techniques by teaching them as short staff techniques. Okay. These are our original Korean Army Taekwondo weapons. Okay, so there's a lot of controversy on the internet at the moment about whether there are weapons involved in Taekwondo, and I would say absolutely there are. Um, it was brought up through the military, so you would expect a, at least rifle and bayonet and, uh, and, and knife techniques would be the absolute minimum that you would have in Taekwondo. But of course they were taken out. Okay, uh, So this is how I preserve these. I say, uh, I, I feel it's better to do it with a short stick. Okay, so the stick is usually somewhere between three and four foot in length, um, and this would be the same length as a broom or a mop um, or a shovel or any gardening implement, uh, same as a pool cue, um, and obviously it's pretty much the same as a rifle and bayonet. Okay, so it's it's quite a standard length for sticks, um, and obviously being three to four foot. It's a lot easier to use indoors uh, or in confined spaces than would be a six foot staff, which is a lot more difficult to wield. Um, also, obviously, you know, for people who are smaller, a, a shorter stick uh, is, is, is easier to control. Um, the grip that we would have on the on this stick is um, usually called the yin yang grip, or, or in Korean that would be obviously be the um yang grip, which is the right for a right handed person would be the right hand down. And the left hand up or to be technical the right hand is pronated the left hand is supinated but the easy way to work it out is if you were shooting a rifle if you were shooting a rifle which way would your hands be and they would be literally right hand down for a right handed person right hand down left hand up uh, and at about the one third and two third positions so that's the grip that we normally use in this style of fighting and we do not tend to slide the hands at all again because it's rifle and bayonet techniques they the the the, uh, the techniques tend to you wouldn't obviously slide your hand along a rifle and bayonet because they're just too bumpy. Okay, so it's it's kept in a fairly tight grip, very little very little movement from there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is show you how to get on into the on guard position. So from here, you would step usually step back with the right foot into a back stance like so. Bring the bring the bayonet end onto your shoulder and snap it forward into this guard position. Okay, so again from here you go from here and then step back into a guard position. Usually the bayonet end would be pointing at your opponent's face so you'd be keeping the person back with the bayonet end and the stock end would be down on your hip. Okay, so that's the on guard position. So from here again stepping back into on guard position. The first technique I'm going to show you is the straight thrust off the front leg. So we're going to just shuffle the left foot forward and drive the, the, the bayonet end into the body, into the centre of mass. Okay? So this is quite a powerful technique, you've got your whole body behind it, you're pushing off your right leg and driving like so. Okay? So you practice that, get a nice powerful move out of it and you'd be using, as I say, the, the left end or the bayonet end if you're right handed. Okay? The second technique I'm going to show you is again from the same position, so we're in our on guard position. This time we're going to step forward with the right and push off the left and drive high into a forward stance, right forward stance, and drive high thrusting to the face. Okay? Very important in this particular technique to keep the forward stance nice and wide because if, you, if, you're, if you're quite narrow in the forward stance it's a very awkward position to thrust from, you can't get power into it, but if you open the stance up then you can get your body behind the technique. Okay, so, so technique number two, as I say, from, from that position will be to step forward and do the high variation to the face as we, as we thrust. Okay, um, and then technique number three, uh, again, from the on guard position, this time we're using the stock uh, end, end of the stick. Okay, so from this position we're stepping, again, stepping forward like we did in, the previous, in technique number, number two. Sorry, this is actually technique number four in, in, the, in the sequence, I just teach them out of order. Okay, so the third technique is technique number four, and you're going to be stepping forward into a forward stance, and from this position, striking inwards, horizontally, high, high strike there. Okay, so again, from this position, we're striking inwards, high strike. Okay, so, quick review, again, technique number one, step back into on guard position, shuffle forward with the left, and drive, drive the bayonet end into the centre mass. 
Technique number two, from on guard position, step forward with the right into forward stance, and we're going high into the, into the head. And then technique number three, we're stepping forward with the right into forward stance, and doing a horizontal inward strike with the stock across the jaw. Okay, so there are our, there our first three techniques, technique number one, two, and four. Okay, practice those.